Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use a USB flash drive or an external hard drive to reinstall and erase your disk on your brand new Apple Silicon device. Let's jump in and get started. Normally, when you want to be able to boot into macOS Recovery, that's the normally the easiest way to do it. You just hold down the power button, you boot into Recovery, you erase the drive, and you reinstall macOS. But I'm gonna tell you that's not the fastest way to do it. It's actually only the second fastest. The slowest is macOS recovery because it has to download the entire 13 gigabyte macOS Big Sur installer from Apple to the system before it can even start the installer. The second fastest way is to boot off of USB or your external hard drive because all the 13 gigabytes of files is on here and it can immediately transfer it over Thunderbolt or USB. That's the second fastest. And the third fastest is over your USB-C cable from your second Mac using Apple II Configurator and I, and I put a video out on that and that takes 15 minutes. If you're trying to decide which way you wanna reinstall, Mac OS, that's kind of an example of which one's the slowest, the medium, and the fastest. So this video though, we're talking about how to reinstall Mac OS from an external hard drive or USB. So for this, all you need is your, your USB-A dongle, your USB flash stick with create install media, and I created a video on how to put Mac OS Big Sur on here, and I'll link that in the description, or I'll put a card above to show you how to do that. But once you have that, then we can boot right in. Now keep in mind, the Intel Max with the T2 chip, there was boot external boot security that blocked you from booting these, these helpful tools here. But on Apple Silicon, it's enabled by default and there's no option to really turn it on or off. It's just on all the time. And it really is helpful because now we can just reinstall right from it. We don't have to worry about turning it on or turning it off. So let's jump in and get started with this. So all we need to do is connect our USB hard drive, our Thunderbolt hard drive. This is actually a kind of a neat little device here. This is a uh, Seagate Thunderbolt uh, GoFlex adapter, and you can actually switch out different hard Seagate hard drives here, just like that, over a serial ATA connection. And then it's connected to Thunderbolt 2 cable, and I've got that to a Thunderbolt 2, Thunderbolt 3, to USB-C type connect. This is kind of a neat little thing here. And it also comes with an adapter that you can just plug in like this and it has a USB-A uh, connector if that's all you had, for example. And you could connect it to your little dongle here and connect it to your Mac like this. But this is obviously slower than trying to use the Thunderbolt. So we're gonna connect that back in. We'll put this off to the side here. And now that we've got that connected, we're ready to start into uh, Mac OS recovery. So to do that, all we need to do is click on the power button to hold it down. We'll, the Mac will start up. It'll say continue holding for startup options. We'll wait. And as soon as it changes to the next screen, loading startup options, we can let go of the key. And then in another second or two, we'll see the big gear icon with the options and then Macintosh hard drive. And the best part is we'll actually be able to see our Big Sur installer here too, because you see that the hard drive is firing up here. You see the light on, and actually you can't see that. We'll move that up here so you can see that here. And there's our Big Sur. All we need to do is normally though, I want I want you to keep in mind, there's actually nothing on the hard drive here. Normally you would see a Macintosh hard drive here and then the Big Sur installer. But this Big Sur installer is on this hard drive and it's the only compatible version. I actually have all the way back to 10.6 Snow Leopard on this device. And obviously it's not gonna be able to boot to that because the versions of hardware that are shipped that's the lowest operating system that can be installed on here. So you can't install Catalina. You can only install Big Sur. And that's that's always been the rule with Mac products. So we'll click on this and we'll boot right to the external hard drive. Give it a second here. And look at that, we're already in MacOS recovery. That's super quick. Set this off to the side. Now keep in mind though, this looks a little bit different than the macOS recovery. When you first go into macOS recovery, you get that normal menu. So you're thinking to yourself, oh wait, wait a minute, where's the disk utility and the Safari and the pieces like this? Instead of that, you wanna you wanna click quit install macOS and now you're at this menu. So now let's go into disk utility, because again, we wanna do a fresh install. You can also do a reinstall 
over the top of your current operating system if you want. Let's say there's something wrong. Maybe an update screwed something up and it's not booting or uh, whatever. Who knows what could have happened and you just want to reinstall Mac OS Big Sur over the top of your previous install and retain all your data. All you need to do is click on that and hit continue. That's it, it'll reinstall right over the top, leaving all your data there. But in this case, we're doing a erase and install. So we're gonna go into disk utility, click continue, give it a second here to load the disk. And here is our internal hard drive. Now keep in mind, this is already erased. If the operating system is on here, you would also see data here. But when you want to erase the drive, all you need to do is click on the Macintosh hard drive and then click Erase. Now, another option in here too is that if you didn't erase before, since this is empty, it's missing the Erase Volume groups. And that means it's going to delete Macintosh hard drive and Macintosh hard drive data. If you don't do that, it's just going to delete Macintosh hard drive and leave the data on there. When you're trying to do a fresh install, you want everything to be cleaned out. So that's why you would click Erase Volume Group right here. But since this is already erased and you could see by this uh, bar right here, everything's already gone, so we can just click Erase. And that's it, click Done. And we'll quit out of Disk Utility. And we're ready to click uh, Install Mac OS Big Sur. And we'll click Continue. Now keep in mind, notice how I'm connected to Wi-Fi here. When the security mode is defaulted on for the security policy, it's set to check the operating system for to make sure it's valid with Apple and it was signed by Apple and, and it will personalize that to this machine. You need to have an internet connection to be able to do that. So if you don't, it will actually tell you that you need an internet connection. So save yourself time, connect to ethernet or connect to your Wi-Fi in recovery so you don't even get that error. So we'll click agree. And it's gonna say, well, where you wanna install? Well, there's only one place to do because we did not partition the drive for multiple containers or partitions. We'll just click on Macintosh hard drive and hit continue. That's it. Now keep in mind, if you booted into Mac OS recovery and you were trying to then do it that way where it has to download the entire 13 gigabytes, it would have said two hours right here. So you're cutting down your time almost in half by booting to the external drive because there's no download. We're immediately starting to copy files right now. And it's actually gonna be quicker than this because I've done this multiple times now. It gives you just a general estimate. But I know for sure that it says two hours at this point when we're doing it from the download part. So again, we're saving almost half the time by installing it with the external hard drive or your USB flash drive. That's a fresh factory erase and install with Mac OS Big Sur on your brand new Apple Silicon device. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, and you wanna catch more videos like this in the future, click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you back in the next video. Have a good day.